Oh, hey there, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to the Henry Stickman Collection. I hope you're as excited as I am today, because if you remember in the last video, we found some secret achievements. We found some secret endings to the game, and I really want to try finding some more today, because there are a lot of interesting things. Now, you're probably saying, Blitz, you dummy, you have to find all of the bios. That's going to take... Like, no joke, that's a lot of time. I do have all of these completed, but when we infiltrate the airship, we have a couple things, like the buttery snack, the famous movie line. Blah, that's probably the sun yelling at something again, and then bleh, I don't even know what that means. And then we also have this one, where there's a couple things left, and in completing the mission, there are a lot of achievements yet to find, including the two, three secret ones that I don't even know about. I'd like to thank a game called Dragon Tamer for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't heard of Dragon Tamer yet, it's a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android, where you can breed dragons, decorate your six home islands, and use your dragons in battle. So you want to breed your seven original dragons in the game to create brand new species. There's over 100 different dragons with unique looks. It begins by choosing two dragons at a breeding site. You need to choose carefully because you combine the nine different elements in the game, which can benefit and limit each other, and you can also use the dragon's rarity. And all of these together will choose what the egg looks like. After some time, the egg will hatch, and you'll have a cute new little baby dragon to level up. The eggs hatch into baby hatchlings, and as they grow, they become young dragons. And once they hit level 4, they are adult dragons, and you can breed them. And as I said, you can use your dragons in battle. You can battle the dragons in PvP using the 1v1 arena, or you can join an alliance where the leader can take 20 members into a giant warfare session. And if you're like me, and PvP really isn't your thing, you can play in the 4 PvE modes, where you can do things like taking your dragons on a challenging 10 chapter adventure or even play the forest of the spirits minigame so if this game does look like a lot of fun to you make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to download the game and you can use the code dt2021 to register your new account now obviously these are in infiltrating the airship so we can go through it or we could just go to the map now if i remember right butterfingers has something to do with dropping dropping our friend here out of the cargo bay probably with a parachute Yep, there it goes. <laughs> falling down. We're falling through the air. This is an easy one. Yoink! Uh-oh. There he went. Oh, man. I almost feel bad, except I don't. But look. Butterfingers. Uh-huh. <laughs> there they are. Hey, hey, I did it. Buttery snack. Yum, yum. All right. First one. First one was easy. I'm liking that. Maybe we'll get some sort of really cool ending on it. Now I'll be 100% honest. I wouldn't be able to do this without looking at guides. Because some of these are super duper crazy intense. So this one right here. Oh, like, man, I, I can, this. I remember this. So what we do. Uh huh. Yeah, Ooh. good time. I throw my ninja star. It hits the book. And then we have to. This is a line from a movie. So we have to type out M U L A N. It's a line from the movie Mulan. Not that famous. Like,. Like, that's in the game. The kind of Easter eggs that are hidden in here are just incredible. Now, once I we defeat him, he surrenders the airship to us, right? Uh-huh. And then Charles comes in the helicopter. We get to make a decision. Now, we could have made the decision to use the parachute and kill him. But if we throw him in the tank, jump down, everyone shoots at us. We fall all the way ground to the ground, not all the way ground. Uh-huh. Check that out. <laughs> We've made it. Is he still alive? Yeah, he is. There you go. Hand him over. Hand him over to the cops. Good job. Charles is still impressed with us. We are officially pardoned for all of our crimes by Jefferson. Was that Smithsonian? Is that the guy's name? Right. But what we're doing here, we are waiting for the sun to come out. The sun. You remember the sun that had the laser beam in its mouth before? Well, my friends, here he is again. <laughs> He's coughing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is, it's so weird. I love it. Okay, what's next? We have obviously B. That one looks crazy. And I almost think it's a Team Fortress 2 reference. So, in this same area, instead of using the tank or the parachute, if we use dummies, this is the ending for the rapidly promoted executive where we get thrown down to the ground. They recognize that we bamboozled them. We fly away in the airship. Henry! <laughs> I love that. And now we are the rapidly promoted executive. 
I love that. Uh huh. But now there's an icon we need to click somewhere. Somewhere close. Maybe it's in this screen. No, no, it isn't. It is right here. Team Fortress 2. <laughs> we did it. That was that was good. Did we get? We got the achievements. Nice. That was that was all of them for escaping the airship. Kind of crazy that three of the the hard ones to get were right at the end there. But we get to flee the complex next. Rise and shine, nailed it, and bring. Oh, I'm so excited for that guy. He's uh he's seeing. He doesn't like us though. And there's some secret endings that I'm looking at. And Waldorf. Oh yeah, we gotta find Waldorf. Now I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie at all. I'm not a huge fan of the fleeing the whatever this one's called, fleeing the complex. This isn't my favorite map. I really like the escaping the airship, or infiltrating the airship, and a lot of these completing the mission ones, but fleeing the complex, not so much. Which one is your favorite? Do you have one of the favorite of these ones? I think the reason I don't like this map is because there's just so many different things. It's big, but it's all kind of the same thing. There's just the, the Ellie difference in it when she gets to join us. So if we come up here, we can do the power jump. Now we have to time this right to click up there and then land it. We stick that landing there and we have to fall down. No! <laughs> I have to do it until he lands on every one of these. Second time. Whoop, and then landed. Okay, that was good. And then over here, landed. Mm, come on, would you not fall? Okay, landed the first one. Landed. Would you not fall down on your face, dude? For real this time. Okay, so we'll do the balloon to get across because I landed that last time. He'll slow down, which is fine. We'll land here. Land right here, dude. Yeah, just get off. Land right here. Yeah, just jump out. Just swing a little bit and land. Good job. Okay, now we need to heliumify ourselves. Uh-huh. Turn our face into a balloon so we can float across the pipe. <laughs> this looks so funny. Imagine if he let go of his mouth. He just go all over the place. Then we'll land right here. Come on, land. Perfect. Get in there and then land down. Oh no, I missed it again. He's got to land down there. Okay, shove your big head inside the hole and land, land. Oh, I got it, I clicked, good. Now we have to use the leaf from Mario. Uh-huh, get that tail so we can fly across. Beautiful, now we have to land it just right. Oh no, I missed it again. <laughs> See if I can do it right this time. Are you ready? Are you, I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready, click, I got it. I heard the click, so that's good news. Now I need to remember where to land the tanuki at where are we going buddy right yes yes got it stuck the landing wow that was actually pretty difficult <laughs> not gonna lie there's a lot to that okay so the rise and shine is pretty difficult we have to find this man five times in one playthrough so what we need to do is we need to boost up ellie rescue her from inside of the prison cell and by boost up, that means Henry gets boosted. He flies up into the air, smashes this thing on this rock right here. Smash and smash and smash. And then, oh, he only smashed twice. But we're going to pull Ellie up. Hello. <laughs> Wee. Now we're going to escape through the vent up top. Now that we're outside the room, we're going to do a synchronized takedown. Take out these two guards. So somehow, Ellie is a Jedi and is going to use the force to lift me up to the top. Or Henry, because I'm not Henry. He gets up top and then he just falls in and collapses onto the floor. Nicely done. Opens the door and every single other prison cell. Hello. I should get all the bios. That'd be a good idea. Oh, oh, oh I got him. Ah. Okay, we got these guys all look good, though. Now, we need a sniper rifle and tase them. Actually, I'm just going to tase Henry. So he goes on a killing spree. Beautifully done. Get these bios. And then we'll throw the hat past it to distract them. And that'll free us up to go outside. Now, there he is, right there. Oh, did you hear the bird sound? That was it. That was the guy we needed. And now we go back to the ship. Remember where we got the Tanuki feather? There he is right there. I got it. We got two of them. Two of the five. And next up, we have to charge tackle our way out. Run oh, all no. the way through. All the way. Uh-huh. Back and forth. Left and right. Up and down. Acrobatics. That actually worked. I forgot which one. Oh, yeah. It's going to burn that thing up. We'll use a ghost to bypass the two guards here. Yeah, just run, run right through them. Uh-huh. That was perfect. And next, we have to battle him. Okay, Karlov, battle time. I just stabbed him right in the crotch with the giant S word. Okay, now we gotta be careful because he comes right out of there. Oh, oh that was close. I got him though. Okay, so we get put back in the cell. We cut our way through the floor using the laser pointer. We fall down on top of the guard down below, but we get his cell phone, which is beneficial because we can call the Top Hat Clan, who's gonna come rescue us. We have to be very careful and very fast because as soon as we leave this thing, he's right up here. Oh, I got it. Oh, yes. Rise and shine. Wake up and smell the snow. Hot dang, that was hard. But look at that airship. Did you see that? That was so cool. That 
allows me to get the these are my favorite i like these okay so the next achievement here the next achievement is to trigger all three of the moon phases we just have to fall off a cliff in the back of a truck sort of i mean he's we're not gonna fall off the cliff but the cliff is gonna be there and the truck's gonna fall off so we're just gonna grab onto the side of it like spider henry yeah watch it falls off where'd it go all right, everyone just kidding. Back everyone knows that Henry's just hanging onto the fence. Yeah, that's my friend right there. Good old Stickman. So he'll climb up and walk through through the snow so they can see his his footprints. It's really smart, Henry. Walk on the road where there's no footprints. But right up here, right up here, the moon pops up. After this one, I believe. There it is. I'm off. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> Yeah, we have to click that one. And we're back to this one. You know where the leaf was? But we're gonna use the Shadozer this time because we get to become a shadow. Uh-huh, that's a great gadget by Gadget Game. Oh, it isn't that great. Okay. Can we just, can we just go? Can we become a shadow? <laughs> and then we walk around, but they're gonna see our shadow. That's fine because we just see the, <laughs> the moon. <laughs> Did you see those eyes? Oh no, we got cut in half. If we come back here, we do the good old fashioned acrobatics, jump over the bullets, do all sorts of the fun stuff. And this is where it gets interesting, right here, because we'll use the item. Uh huh. And there it is! <laughs> did you see it there? The moon was in there super fast. I didn't even see it the first time. But we did get the achievement, so that was awesome. And we could have probably have done Waldorf before. He's kind of easy to find. He's just hiding right here. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Waldorf! So that brings us to two very interesting achievements. These are very interesting because they're secret and you don't actually know what they are. We're going to find them, though. We have to put ourselves back into here. And we get to use the plunger boots. The plunger boots to plunge across. Just plunge across. And then A, E, I, O, U. Uh-oh. A-O. Uh-oh, I broke it. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Achievement. That kind of looked like a, a little Among Us character, didn't it? And now we only have this one. The secretest of all of the secrets. We need to slingshot ourselves all the way over there. <laughs> Splat. Ah, seems like a good place to keep a medal. Click here for a medal. I mean, you got to work for it. Hmm, that still seems too easy. I'm up here now. Now I'm down here. Did this happen? Shrug. Seems like a good spot to be. How's it going? Yes? Uh, I'm glad. What should we talk about? I bet you didn't know the capital of Mongolia off the tip of your head. I really don't. I bet you're pressing okay without reading what I'm saying. This is important. Don't skip my words. Hmm, dogs have feet. Okay. Press the sun in the sneaky ending. Hmm, what? 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 Ah, good. I got tired of that spot. This seems nicer. Which one is correct? Um... I'm going to go with that. <laughs> yeah, I guessed right. I have a confession, though. They're both correct. Oh, you jerk. Will you press the rightmost button? Um, No. You liar. Oh, don't press this button. Okay. Did I do it? Did I get it? I didn't get it. Maybe I should wait a little while. Yeah, press that one instead. Uh-oh. Button will take you back to the beginning. I don't want to do that. Retry. Fooled you. <laughs> but now I have to press the retry button to continue. There isn't one. That's this one. I'm not doing that. I can't fool you, huh? All right. Take your medal. Whoop. Medal. 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 Yeah. <laughs> easy achievement. It was so easy. I did it, boys. I did it. I, we got them all. Except the, the famous BIOS one, which is going to suck really bad. Super suck. So that's the end of the video. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. Bye. I'd also like to thank Ben, Alan Hagen, Dickie James, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Seraphin X, Desbogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Noah Collingwood, Jason McFarland, Dagan, Paul Longstone, and Rao, as well as the rest of the Patreon supporters and everyone who has joined the channel as a YouTube member. 